Hey guys, welcome back to Walden's World. And my buddy brought me over a Honda Foreman ES. And he said, uh, I've actually worked on this thing before, I think a couple years ago. He said that uh, he would run it for about an hour and it would just shut off and die. And, but it would start back up. So um, when he was over here earlier, uh, and it's been sitting here for a few days, um, I wanted to check to see if it had gas. So when I popped the gas tank, I heard what a tall tale sign of a bad situation and that was pressure in the gas tank. Um, this cap I don't believe is OEM. I think normally they have a straw out of here with a vent and uh, so there's no pressure equalization for the tank. So what is happening with this particular four-wheeler is depending on your fuel level, um, you're gonna start creating a negative pressure. You'll have an air bubble at the top, gas going down. So once you start doing that, that wants to expand that air bubble. So you created a negative pressure. Well, it'll expand a little bit, uh, but once it exceeds the amount of pressure that will be able to let the fuel go through the line, this thing will actually start wanting to pull fuel back out of the carburetor and back up in there to compensate for their air bubble. And it's just trying to equalize the pressures, what's going on. Um, so on this particular model, um, and had he rode it and took off this gas cap, uh, and if this is what is wrong with yours, if you have a pressure situation, you should be able to pop this gas cap off when it dies, and you should be able to hear that sound, uh, like when you open up soda pop. However, this one is actually sucking air in instead of blowing air out. Anyway, y'all like, subscribe, hit the notification button. If you have a vehicle, ATV, I've done a scooter, scooter did the same thing. If you don't have a vent or your vent is clogged, this thing might run for a while, but once that tank gets that pressure in there, it's gonna pull the fuel back up into the tank and you will shut off wherever you're at. Like, subscribe, hit the notification button. Hey, y'all comment from where you're at comment if this helped you you know don't be scared to comment tell me where you're at we all love motors and stuff man i've had some really cool people i've met over the years on this youtube channel and uh helped out so anyway we're out of here